Good evening, I'm Lindsay Wright. Indiana Attorney General Greg Zeller announced today several counties will receive grant funding to combat prescription drug overdose deaths. The Attorney and General's office is giving $127,000 to three nonprofits working in 16 of the hardest hit counties. That includes Marion and Scott County. Money will be used to train and supply first responders on how to use Naloxone, which halts the effects of an opioid overdose. It's been used more than 100 times by police officers in Indianapolis to resurrect overdosers. Purdue University announced plans yesterday to invest $250 million in life sciences research. Purdue President and former Indiana Governor Mitch Daniels says the school will hire additional faculty, including professors of neuroscience, plant, drug, and immunological sciences. The move is part of wider fundraising and development initiatives announced last fall. And Daniels says important results are already showing. The master plan of Lake Monroe serves to guide the comprehensive management, development, and use of the lake. There has only ever been one master plan since the original was approved in 1967, but the Army Corps of Engineers has drafted an updated plan, it says, based on regional and local needs. Army Corps of Engineer officials say it's a good idea to look at those past plans and determine where to go in the future. The DNR has submitted comments on the plan, and the public is encouraged to submit comments as well. That deadline to submit comments is January 14th. And now for a quick check of tonight's forecast, a 60% chance of rain this evening, lows in the upper 30s. Looking into the five-day forecast, a 50% chance of rain tomorrow, a high of 50 degrees, a low of 45, 80% chance of showers on Saturday, a high of 51 degrees, a low of 30 degrees. For more local news, log on to WTIUnews.org.